What an interesting top topic, gracious me, the contention of so many that it's a huge problem. Uh, I maintain a couple of factoids, or you know, truisms you might say. We talk about a gas, an atmospheric gas of about two parts per million. So what is the real problem? What is the role of agriculture? Where do we sit in New Zealand as part of a global player, a trader as it were, in a global society? Uh, two parts per million, but we've got to have an honest conversation about what our contribution is, how it affects atmospheric conditions. And you know, what would be our contribution in keeping that limited in so much as that we drive up production, drive down methane, and become a society with a, you know, a whole lot of money uh, and economic activity? So those are the real questions. I think the contention by so many is we're not doing enough. That's a bloody nonsense. We're doing a hell of a lot here in New Zealand. Our emissions profile from animal protein in New Zealand is amongst, if not the lowest in the world. So then the real question is, what should we be doing that doesn't undermine that reality? That's the real question. And sadly, so many on the left with the hyperbolic statements, it's all doom and gloom if we don't do this stuff, um, sadly have never answered that question. Well, I think it's so important that New Zealand has an honest conversation about what its role really is in terms of m minimising the overall warming effects of these atmospheric warming gases. This is the real problem that so many are willing to not answer, which is how much do we actually have to spend? How much do we take off the taxpayer and invest in all these mitigation te te technologies that may or may not have the said desired result? And will it keep global warming te you know, temperatures below 1.5 degrees? That is the real question. And if we're not answering that question honestly with ourselves about a gas that's two parts per million, be frank, CO2 is 400 odd parts, 428 odd parts, 30 odd parts per million. We're talking about a gas that's significantly less than that, that decays back to CO2 in a matter of 10 or 12 years. Part of the natural life cycle of gases in our atmosphere. The real question is, is what can New Zealand do and not financially corrupt itself? That's what I'm asking. And, and, and gracious, gracious me, the constituency are saying the same thing. Let's have a conversation, debate the issues, see where we financially can take the country forward and not corrupt ourselves being pious in the process. Emotions are never wrong, right, for so many people. And this is an emotive subject for a lot on the left. i remove all of that is something that I think we need to maintain. Science and facts don't care about your feelings. That's the point, right? So we have to go back to what is a common sense way of moving forward as a country. We have an emissions profile, which is arguably in large part blamed on the agricultural sector. It's not for me to decide how true that is and what the role of methane is, but we've got to get the emotion out of the room, put science back on the table. That says that if we do these things, this should be the result. Because there's no point to my mind beating ourselves up for piety, uh, while the rest of the world uh, and some of the biggest polluters continue to pollute. Now, the real question is, what can we do? What can we do with some efficacy that will change the outcome, that will help uh, that global initiative, as it were, but not corrupt ourselves? The moment it financially is detrimental, it's just bloody dumb, and we shouldn't do it. We've had all manner of catastrophization from the left. We've had it for 40 or 50 years. The end of days, it's all doom and gloom. The world is burning or we're flooding or we're freezing or everything else. I want to take the emotion out of the room, which is very, very difficult to your former question. The real issue is, and the contention is, what should we be doing that we can do in such a way that doesn't corrupt us? That is the real question. I don't have the answers, but I think the wider society should have its say.